Today's the 14th of September. This is one of my favorite readings in the morning after a couple of cups of coffee, feed the dogs. Um, I put the laptop on real quick, check the headlines, finances, see if we're going to recoup any money today after yesterday's whatever, 12, 1300 point fall. FJB, man, let's go, Brandon. Terrible terrible I can't even it's like monopoly money what you're losing it's crazy I'm locked in here now for a much longer time should have put it all in cash anyway this is a, a, a publication I like to read American thinker it always has good articles in it uh, one of the top articles were marijuana now more popular than cigarettes a poll right over here but this particular article is regarding AR-15s and all the bullshit lawsuits coming up you know lawyers will sue a watermelon if they can so they're trying to use now this advertisement I think it was by Remington Arms uh, that's being being sued big time as a result of Adam Lanza's use of a stolen AR to commit a mass shooting at Sandy Hook that's the big one so Remington I think is 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 dead everything in New York is dead they all left um, in their advertisements they say consider your man card reissued when you're given an AR-15 that's their arguing point so they were trying to sell this to men to go out and shoot people is what the lawyers are, are trying to argue uh, again gender specific that's bullshit more women shoot these things than men probably women in the military women in the police Today you can't even identify a woman, so what the hell is a man? You don't know. What's a man? What's a woman? Supreme Court justice now cannot define woman. You know, what's Hallmark going to do on Mother's Day now? Are we still going to be doing Happy Mother's Day or Happy Birthing Persons Day? The world's upside down. Um... So it goes on to say, if we go back a couple of generations to the time when men, but not women, were expected to put themselves at risk to stop unlawful violence, your so-called man card is your right and even possibly your moral duty to use your firearm to stop individuals like Adam Lanza, Dylan Roof. They're bringing up all these psychos, man. Before they can complete their crimes. Yeah, that's what you were expected to do. Um... And the guys above, I think, were kind of stopped in that same manner. It's saying here, most of these people got whacked before they could uh, get caught. So it goes on to say, if you're called for jury duty in a junk liability case such as this one against the gun manufacturer, remember that there are lawyers who have tried to sue repressed memories as evidence in other forms of litigation and even criminal cases. And from what the definition of repressed memory is, it's a designer label for perjury. So, you know, people are going up there talking all kind of crap. Just in case you're ever called to a jury case like this against a gun manufacturer, you know, you know where you stand. So getting back down here, it's talking about the gender specific. It says, consider your man card reissued again. It's the 21st century now, and it's not the 19th. Women as well as men now protect our society as police officers, members of the armed forces. Women use lawfully owned firearms to protect their families, their homes, their, their belongings, everything. So, it's not so much it's a, your man card is reissued. <clears throat> They go on to say again, AR-15, in fact, is an ideal self-defense firearm for women due to its relatively lightweight ease of handling and very low recoil. So this is a very interesting read here. I'll put the link. Uh, something we all got to think about here. What the left is trying to do to gun owners. Again, lawyers will sue a watermelon if they can get one. Beware.